hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video i have another baby agi video that is showcasing you guys on how to actually install it on your local drive so before we actually get into the video guys please do subscribe like and comment down in the description below for further videos also turn on the notification bell and if you guys haven't seen this video i would highly recommend it that you do as it's an in-depth analysis as to what the autonomous ai application does and to get a better understanding as well as the dynamics as to how this actual application runs before installing it locally on your desktop so with that thought let's get into the video and if you guys haven't donated or if you want to donate sorry please do so guys it would mean the world to me as well as supporting this channel so with that thought let's get into the actual video so what is baby agi so baby agi is an open source platform that allows researchers to train and evaluate various ai agents in a simulated environment the platform is designed to facilitate research in various fields including reinforcement learning language learning as well as cognitive development one of the notable features of baby agi is the use of a simplified environment and language the platform is inspired by cognitive development of human infants and is designed to test how well AI agents can learn as well as perform complex tasks in a limited as well as a simplified environment. The AI powered task management system is actually built using Python and leverages OpenAI as well as Pinecone's APIs as an example of how baby AGI's platform can be used to create intelligent agents. This system is designed to create, prioritize, and execute tasks based on predefined objectives and the results of previous tasks. This is absolutely amazing and it's a great step in the forward to an AGI. The natural language proce processing capabilities of OpenAI are used to generate new tasks that align with the objectives while Pinecone is used to store and retrieve task results for context. This pared down version of task driven autonomous agent showcases that potential of AI powered task management systems and how they can be used to automate tasks in an intelligent and effective manners. In terms of how it works, it first pulls the first task from the task list, it sends the task to an execution agent which uses the OpenAI's API to complete the task based on the context. Thirdly, it enriches the results and stores in the pinecone. And fourth, it creates a list of tasks to execute the actual process or the objective of the prompt that you use. And now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually use it. So first things first, guys, you wanna open up your command prompt. You wanna run it as your administrator. Now, once you have done that, I want you guys to install Python this is important for this so make sure you install it for your processor and another thing that you want to install is visual studio code as you're going to be using this to edit the code once you have done that go on to the github link by the way i'll leave all the links in the description below so please go check it out now i want you to go in the github link and i want you to first copy this code obviously you can just copy it from here but you want to copy the repository and once you have done that you want to go into command prop and you want to paste it and click enter and it'll start copying the files from the github and once you have done that you want to click cd and baby agi and now it will be basically in the file of baby agi and once you have done that you want to install python into this and once that is done i'll be back so now the next step involves installing the repository in visual studio code so i want you guys to run this as administrator now once this has opened up we want to open up a new file or open up baby agi and once you have done that you want to go on to env.example and what you want to do here first things first is you want to rename this and you want to get rid of the example also, for the people who do not know, to open this file, it's quite simple. You open the file, you click the baby AGI file that is now downloaded on your computer. And once you have rechanged re this, you want to go into the next step. And basically, this is where we're going to be putting the open API key. 
as well as changing some of the requirements now obviously if you have gpt4 you can input it over here by changing it to gpt4 and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the objective as well as actually getting this platform to work so first things first you want to go into open uh, open ai's api keys I'll link in the description below you want to copy this new api key generated and what you want to do is go onto this paste it over here now once you have done that what you want to do next is go on to pinecone it's completely free i'll leave the link in the description below and what you want to do is copy this new uh basically if you don't know you can create your first index and then you click on key api keys cop copy this key and once you have done that you paste it over here once you have done that for the pinecone environment it says us east so what you want to do is change it to the environment that you are in and copy and paste it to that and what i want you to do is click save now once you have done that you can actually start writing on what your objective is now for the initial task you wanted to develop something that will help you actually execute the initial uh, like the overall objectives so in this case i'll say develop an action plan to help execute the resume creation and once that is done you click save again and then you want to go into the baby agi dot pi and once you get to this we'll get to the next step once you have specified your actual objective you want to go into this tab and click play and it's going to take a long time guys because you're actually connecting the pine cone and it's going to take some time guys so let it run for a bit and once it's like finished i'll be back guys so now that pine cone is actually initialized we're able to see that it's starting to develop the task obviously for me i don't have a actual paid plan with pinecone at the moment so it's not going to be able to formulate everything which is saying you exceeded your current quota so you guys got to rem remember that this is going to be very extensive on pinecone as it's going to it's going to be very like heavy usage based so you got to be making sure that you have all these requirements set before actually executing these creations but that's basically a gist of actually how to actually install it on your local desktop guys as you can see it's it's ready to basically work you just got to make sure that you're able to have a lot of backing to basically have it like working or have it functional and that's just gist of today's video guys so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was very informative if you want me to improve on certain things please let me know if you want me to like work on anything else any type of like ai application i'm willing to do so so thank you so much for watching guys please subscribe and i'll leave all the links down in the description below Peace out, fellas.